Hi, hi, hi. My name is Bernie Bloom. I'm the CEO and founder of Ansel. And in this video, I'm going to let you know what the Ansel Nano is and what you can actually do with it. So this is a little fascinating device. It's based on the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, it has a completely fanless case. So the case is the heatsink, just as with our older brother and bigger brother, the Ansel One. Um, also, the Ansel Nano is completely fanless. Um, we just want to tell you what are people actually doing with it? What are our customers doing with it? What can you do with it? So uh, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and let's dive right into it. So actually the most common use cases um, all revolve around cybersecurity. And I'm going to tell you about all the cybersecurity use cases in the end of this video. So make sure to watch it all the way through the end. So let's get started. Actually, this little device runs Ant-Man and Ant-Man is Ansel's virtualization platform. So you can think of it as your own AWS or DigitalOcean in a box. That means you can create your instances, virtual servers, all on this one little device. So it comes with an SD card, it boots from the SD card, and if you use the Raspberry Pi without our software, well, then you boot into one OS like Raspbian or something, then you want to try another operating system, well, you need to, you know, shut it down, take out the SD card, flash it with the other OS, and then boot it again. And uh, with our virtualization platform, you can run it all at once in parallel. And we use real virtualization, hardware virtualization, so you can run real VMs, virtual machines on it. Um, but one cool thing about Ant-Man and the Ansel Nano is we also support bare metal containers. Um, so that means those are virtual servers. They look like a complete physical server as well, but they are implemented using container technology under the hood. So that means it's way more efficient and you can get way more instances on this little device. This comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, so you can do quite a lot. Um, the standard SD card is 128 gigabytes. You can get SD cards up to one terabyte. It has um, two USB ports, so you can add your external storage to it as well. And you have the gigabit ethernet port here. So one of the common use cases is just use it as a little firewall device. Um, you know, cyber threats are becoming more and more common and many people want to secure their business with a firewall device or their home with a firewall device and you know Ant-Man comes with its own uh, firewall built in but you can also install more advanced firewall software like for example pfSense um, and link is in the description how to install pfSense and uh, you can also use paid advanced virtual firewall tools like SonicWall. Uh, we love SonicWall. Again, link in the description. You can install it on your Ansel and you can use it as a firewall. So many people are asking, how can we use it as a firewall if it only has one ethernet port? Well, actually you don't need several ethernet ports, right? You can just connect it to your router and then route all the traffic in here, then it's gonna be filtered inside the device and goes out back to your LAN through the same um, ethernet port. Um, so actually, you know, one ethernet port is all you need. If you wanna be sure and you know, you like having the two ports, one for the traffic coming in and another port for the traffic coming out, you could just get a USB to ethernet adapter um, put it in one of the, the Ethernet ports and then you have your incoming traffic here and outgoing traffic there. So that's one use case. If you're a developer, you can use it for your development and test environments. So you can install all your dev stacks here, like whatever the Ruby on Rails stack, the mean stack, the LAMP stack, uh, uh, LAMP stack, everything. Um, we have templates for some of those. You can run Docker, you can run Kubernetes. We have templates for that as well. Um, you can run 
Nextcloud on it. So if you haven't heard of Nextcloud, it's an open source software. See the link in the description again. And that is kind of a Dropbox clone. So if you like to have something like Dropbox where you share your files and everything, the ease of use of Dropbox, but you don't want it hosted on Dropbox's servers, you want to have it private on your own device, you can use the Ansel Nano for that. So that is actually a very cool use case. If you're more techy, geeky, you can, you know, like run your own DNS name servers on it. Um, you can run whatever, an AirPrint server to, you know, uh, use a non-Wi-Fi printer um, to, to print over Wi-Fi, things like that. Um, you can install your own GitLab server on it. Um, you have your private repository for all your source, co source code then. And um, well, as I mentioned, many use cases are in cybersecurity. So that could be like uh, malware analysis. It could be um, running Metasploit to see if, if you really secured some other server and if you can exploit it or not. Um, and, and you can run all that um, on these devices here. And why is it so popular using it for cybersecurity purposes? The thing is, if you work in cybersecurity, chances are probably you run several scenarios. By the way, it has software-defined networking, so you can create your VLANs in a breeze, and the VLANs can be a replica of your attack surface, right? So say you have some real servers that, that you want to secure, so you can create a replica of these in virtualized servers, create your VLANs in a breeze, and then create your scenarios, then see if it all works protecting it. If it doesn't, you can tear it down and try it again. So for that, you can your, your scenario, you can just create a template from it, right? And all our snapshots and templates and everything are all instantaneous. So that's what our customers are telling us. If they want to do that in other software like VMware or something, it would be a huge effort and, and it would be a long story. For us, we just have a long list of ready-made templates. You just say click and, and create your own virtual servers and your own you know, set of virtual servers and then create your own templates from it so that next time you can just spin them up the same way as, they, as you left them before. So it's really fun to use Ant-Man on a daily basis to quickly spin up and tear down your virtual servers, your environments and things like that. And everyone in cybersecurity just loves that. So yeah, those are a few examples. Obviously there are many more. If you enjoyed this little video, um, please don't forget to hit the like button if you don't mind. It really helps us. It helps the YouTube algorithm and um, it just helps uh, other people see this content. And also consider subscribing to our channel if you want to hear more content like this one. And um, please comment down below what use cases you see and you would like to do on the Ansel Nano. And this could be suggestions for us on what templates we could create um, for you guys and stuff like that. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye.